Right, so just came back from a training ride, doing my squats here on the toilet, got to get those uh, shredded quads. Yeah, so training for the last week was good, solid. Unfortunately, my power meter did not work, so I had no power data, and that's why I didn't make the videos uh, showcasing my training and going over all that. So, yeah, how last week went is exactly how I planned it on the program. Uh, first day on the Tuesday was the five max sprints and the three sets of Tabatas. For those of you who don't know what Tabatas are, they're a really high intensity interval set. You do 20 seconds all out, recover for 10 seconds, and then you do that eight times. And the three sets of that, so that means I did 24 intervals and also five max sprints. So I was training with Nick, he's going to be my teammate at the Mekong Tour. And then the next day, it was five minute intervals. It was the most five minute intervals I've probably ever done in my life because, you know, I like to push myself, take it to the next fucking level. Eight times five minute intervals. Uh, Nick was dying, I was dying, but it was good, you know, because if you're hurting, then you're growing. Following day, it was about two and a half, yeah, two and a half, three hours. Uh, 15 minute intervals, exactly like on the program. Um, yeah, five minutes recovery in between the 15 minute intervals. And again, I was just riding on instinct. I had to go by feel last week and I have to go by feel now for the next three weeks, including the race. But that's fine because I've been riding for so many years. I know exactly what, what intensity feels like what. So it's not a problem for me. I can train without a power meter. And uh, it's fine, you know, because I know that if you want to get better, you just got to push yourself to another fucking level. It's got to feel like your head wants to explode. And this is also a real test of my mental strength, you know, because I'm taking the intervals to a new level. Um, yeah, so some days you're just going to wake up, you're not going to feel like doing it. But, you know, if you want to be a champion, if you have that champion mentality, you just get it done anyway. It doesn't matter how you feel, you just make the deal. So, yeah, the next day was a recovery ride just to, yeah, hour and a quarter, just cruising. Uh, following day... Upper endurance, we averaged about 38 k's an hour, so it was pretty solid. Uh, we we're just rolling through two minutes at the front each, me and Nick. And you know, it's good to have a training partner because it really helps you to push to another fucking level. Because uh, you know, your ego is going to kick in and you're just going to want to push a little bit harder. It's just um, it's our natural instinct. So if you can have a training partner that's on your level or even a little bit faster than you, that's great. You're going to take your fitness to a higher level, guaranteed. And then the, on the Sunday, three and a half hours, just cruising, low endurance, uh, good pace for just listening to an audio book and learning some new shit. So last week was about 17 hours and 40 minutes, 537 Ks, uh, purely based on intuition, going by feel. And it was a great week. And this week, same thing, just an hour longer. So the upper endurance and the lower endurance rides are half an hour longer on each day. And that's just how it um, gets a little bit, how the training stress increases a little bit more each week. It's just by adding a little bit more duration. But the amount of intensity stays the same because at the moment I'm just uh, sticking to pretty much the physiological limit of human performance. If you do more intervals than that, the quality is just going to decline too much and you're just not going to get any more benefit from that. So yeah, I'm just keeping it on the limit so that I can have no fucking limit.